What a privilege it is to take the next few moments to share with you why we pursue theological education and why we think that's so important. My name is Melanie Francis. I'm the Vice President for Cohort Development at SUM Bible College and Theological Seminary. As a church, we know that you are already committed to the Great Commission. You are committed to evangelism and you're committed to discipleship and you are committed to pastoring your community and seeing your community transformed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. And many of you are already committed to full-time ministry. Many of you are already committed to serving in your local church. And so some of you are asking the question, why should I pursue a theological education? Well, I hear that question often. And I wanna give you a few reasons why we think it's really vital um, today, in this season, in this time, for God's people who are called to be equipped with theological education. The first thing is um, the Bible is filled with um, admonitions to pursue wisdom. The book of Proverbs is one of my favorite books. It's filled over and over over with these visual images of wisdom. Wisdom's actually depicted as this lovely woman who's crying out in the streets, and she's actually contrasted with this decrepit woman that's called Folly. But wisdom is calling aloud in the street, and the person who follows wisdom, the person who loves wisdom, is exceedingly blessed. You know what we find is that when we're pursuing wisdom, when we're pursuing knowledge, when we're pursuing um, truth, when we're pursuing uh, understanding, we actually find ourselves running hard right behind God. One of the things the Holy Spirit loves to do is reveal truth. In fact, that's what Jesus said about the Holy Spirit. So if you're pursuing wisdom, if you're pursuing knowledge, if you're pursuing education, if you're pursuing understanding, you're pursuing Jesus. And that is something to be proud of. The other reason why it's so important to pursue theological education is that there are a lot of places where we can get our feet tripped up. Uh, Paul uses that analogy when he's writing his epistles. It's terrible for us to get our feet entangled and have difficulty tripping and stumbling and falling while we're running this race. In fact, 2 Peter um, in chapter 2, he addresses this concept of all of these different false teachings and false ideas and ideologies that are not of God. It's really hard to discern those when you're living inundated in that culture. Pursuing a theological education will help you kind of peel those layers back and it clears out our ears and it clears out our heart so that we can hear the discernment of the Holy Spirit. Need another reason? I'll give you another one. In Acts chapter 2, um, in that really uh, initial place where the church is being birthed, uh, it's said of the early church that they were pursuing uh, uh, the apostles' teaching. In fact, they were devoted to this wisdom and to this understanding and to this learning. Even Paul himself, once he was called and transformed with that amazing Damascus Road experience, he even took a season and committed himself to being trained and taught underneath the apostles and underneath James. If that's not an example for us to follow, I don't know what is. But personally, in that preparation season, in that season of pursuing education, that's a season that we set aside for personal growth and personal transformation. At SUM, we're committed to getting you out into ministry and to launching you out debt free. We're committed to doing that as quickly as we can, with as little debt as we can. So if you set aside three years of your life, you can pursue your theological education and also watch how the Holy Spirit transforms your inner life and you grow into spiritual maturity into places where you haven't grown before because you're allowing the Spirit to do a work that you, in places where you haven't opened up to Him before. You know, if you are serious, about pursuing theological education. I believe that's a good thing, but not only a good thing, I believe that's a God thing. If that's what you're feeling passionate about, if you feel that God is stirring that up in your spirit right now, we want to talk to you. I look forward to being able to help you facilitate the training so that you can fulfill the calling that God has called you to.